Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today in a new video. I have a different video for you guys today, or at least a different subject, because I'm going to be drawing a human eye in graphite and a black and white colored pencil on Strathmore toned gray paper, which I really love working on. So it's been a while since I did a human eye here on YouTube, so I really wanted to do one again. And it's available for the Patreon members as well. The full um, tutorial is two hours. It's narrated. So for those who want to follow along, you can uh, go ahead and look around on my Patreon, which um, of course contains lots of animal projects as well. All right, so the pencil I'm starting with is the Pentel Mechanical Pencil 0 0.3 millimeters and the filling is a B lead so that's what I like sketching with I prefer it over usual graphite pencils because it's so thin I don't have to sharpen it I'm a bit lazy so <laughs> I like using mechanical pencils and that's what I'm starting out with so I'm starting out with a quick sketch and I keep the sketch pretty simple just the outlines of the eye itself and the eyelid um, this eye belongs to an old, old man. I found the reference on Pixabay, so it's royalty free. You can uh, look, you can use it too. I've seen it been drawn quite a lot of times actually already. So let's zoom in so you can see better. Um, yeah, so I'm just sketching out all the most important little areas in the drawing, like the iris and the pupil, the large highlight as well. And that's basically it. So I chose to work on gray paper because it really shows both the black and the white really well. It really makes the drawing pop. I prefer toned paper over white. So um, especially for drawing eyes because the highlights stand out so well on it. So that's why I do toned paper. You can also use beige paper or another color or white. And then you can't, uh, you won't be able to use the white pencil. Alright, so after I did my sketch, I went on with adding a bit of shading already. I started darkening up the darker areas in the drawing, like the top of the eye, the bottom eyelid could be darker, and then the crease of the eye, the crease of the eyelid. So when drawing human eyes, I feel it's really important to not have any harsh lines in there. So I do my layering really softly. So here I use the blending stump to smudge out my shadows right away. So I put in some harsher lines, those darker shadows, and I smudge them out, which creates this really nice um, smudgy effect already. And it almost already looks a bit 3D. And I'm going to work with layers and with black and white with contrasts and I'm trying to leave out any harsh lines. So then I just start building up the layers. I start out quite light. I work from light to dark and I still work with the mechanical pencil. Later I'm going to switch to the black colored pencil. But for now, I just keep it light and I keep it soft. The pressure on my pencil is quite low so that the paper doesn't get saturated too quickly. So this man is pretty old, so he has a lot of wrinkles, especially underneath his eye. I started sketching those out lightly and I blended them with the blending stump right away. Because even those wrinkles, they are shadows, they are not harsh lines. So I make sure to also blend those in a bit. Alright, so then I had a good base that I could start work on top on. And add some more details and add some more contrasts. So what I first did is I picked my Tombow Mono Zero eraser. And I erased out some of the smaller and less prominent highlights in the iris and then it was time to add the white pencil so the highlights are obviously very bright 
so I started by um, filling in the largest highlights in the eye with my white luminance. I really like the white luminance for this. It's a bit uh, more opaque than the white polychromos. So for drawings like this, I prefer the luminance. Though you can still use the polychromos if you only have that one. And I also lightly filled in the smaller highlights in the iris and then the highlights in the inner corner of the eye and next to the bottom eyelid as well. And then I also put down a very um, light layer of that white pencil on the white of the eye. So the white of the eye is never like completely white. There's always a shadow over it or some color in it. So I just used a bit of the pencil and more towards the corners of the eye. I, uh, I didn't add as much of the white. And that's really important. I see it a lot with beginners that they make the white of the eye way too white and that looks very unnatural. So always make sure there is a shadow or some sort of color if you work in color. Um, in the white of the eye because that's very important for the realism in the eye and you can see that it makes such a big difference just adding that white in the highlight and in the white of the eye it makes the drawing pop from the page all right so then it was time to move on with adding the very darkest shadows so i now pick the black polychromos and i made the pupil nice and dark because that's really dark of course um, I really want high contrast in my drawings, so the difference between light and dark has to be um, large. And that really creates the 3D effect in the drawing. So I did that. I also darkened up the edges of the iris quite a lot. So you get a nice contrast between the iris and the white of the eye. And then also the crease of the eye. Um, had to be quite dark as well. And after that I made sure to blend it again with the blending stump to prevent any harsh lines from being there. Alright, then moving on to the lashes. The lashes were quite difficult because this man doesn't really have a lot of lashes and they're very short. They don't curl like... Uh, girls wearing mascara for instance so they were quite difficult to draw because you couldn't you couldn't see them that well and um, the start of the lashes so the very beginning of them were quite light so I had to start by lighting those up first with the eraser the tumble eraser and then the ends of the lashes were darker so um, I added those with the black color pencil And of course, I explain this in detail on Patreon as well. It's going quite fast now, but the real process took two hours. So you can all find it in detail on there if you want to. And now the drawing um, is taking shape, but it can use a lot more detail. So I started adding more detail in the iris adding those, um, those darker muscles in there, those darker lines. Working mainly with the black polychromos now to really get all those areas quite nice and dark. So for the skin, for the wrinkly skin, I just used the white pencil again, pulling out some highlights there and then going in between those highlights with the mechanical pencil again and a bit of the black color pencil. I didn't want to put, to, to put too much focus on the wrinkles there. I wanted the, the main focus of the tutorial to be in the eye itself, but I also didn't want the skin to be distracting. I could have been more detailed there, but I didn't want the tutorial to be too long, so I tried to um, 
to just leave it a bit looser. All right, so then I moved on. The whole area, the skin area around the eye could have been darker as well. I darkened that up. I used a paper tissue to blend that out. Soft cloths or tissues, they give a more even and smudgy effect than when you use the blending stump. So I used the blending stump for smaller areas and a tissue for larger areas. And I just start building up those wrinkles very gradually. So adding more darkness in there, blending it out, um, adding more darkness again. And that way you, you keep that really soft effect, but um, it still gets enough contrast in there. But working in layers is super important. Then I almost forgot the bottom lashes, so I'm doing them here with the mechanical pencil. This man doesn't really have a lot of bottom lashes, so I put a few in. Also, the lashes are not coming from the eye. They are coming from the eyelids. That's what I often see uh, beginners doing wrong as well. They put the lashes um, straight in the eye. They're coming from the eye. And that's, uh, that's not how it works. So the lashes start for the bottom lashes, they start on the eyelid, which is just below the eye itself. And also make sure that the lashes are going in all kinds of different directions. Definitely with old people like this, they don't really spend that much time on their, uh, their looks anymore, or men, I don't think so. So the lashes are going in all kinds of directions. So it gives a nice effect to also draw them in quite loosely. Then I did want to do a bit of the eyebrow on the reference photo. It wasn't really on there that much. The eyebrow was mainly off the page. So I did a part of the eyebrow And the eyebrow consisted of both black and white hairs. So I started off with adding some darker hairs, then adding some lighter hairs with the white pencil and then smudging that out and then building those hairs up. So adding more darker hairs, adding the lighter hairs and then blending again. And that way you get a really nice layered effect. And then finally, I added some very bright highlights with the white Sakura Jelly Roll pen. But it wasn't really necessary, I must say. It didn't really add that much to the drawing, so you can leave that out. Some final details. And then the drawing was finished. So it took two hours, could have spent more time on it. But um, I think two hours is a good, good time for a small drawing like this. And I really, really enjoyed it. I really like drawing eyes. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me drawing. Me see me draw more eyes. English is very hard. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, for all the Patreon members, it is up right now, this video. So you should be able to find it. And then I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!